Hey guys, what's up? This is a video of the Twig Snake. It's a uh, Big Tendy's Flywheel the World blaster, as you can... Yeah, it's too dark. Either way, he uses the micro flywheels. It uses a normally... open... trigger? So that that way when you have the button pressed in, it won't rev like it is now, because you can half pull, and then it'll rev, and then you can do the full pull for firing. It's absolutely tiny, it's moving my hand up, it's basically the size of my hand. I am not the... I'm... All I can really say is if you're printing one of these yourself, print the trigger and the trigger length flat because while you could stack the layers vertically then you're having a screw split between the layers and that's super not good so make the shape gives put it laying everything flat typically helps it has a wild card esque mag magwell where you put in two teeth that will hold a katana or talon magazine and everything is held together with these pegs. You can use 3D printed pegs or you can buy some thin brass rod. That's what I did initially and it was a bit too thin for these, uh, those two. This one, it would probably be fine because you can keep the and slide on. One thing of note is that you really need to cram everything down, so I recommend shrink wrapping your motor leads. You should do that anyway, but I know that you can kind of get away with it in a strife or a Jupiter because there's enough space that nothing's going to clamp down on anything. Here you really need to shrink wrap everything in case stuff gets clamped down and then just trust that your lipo won't explode when you close the shell on it. I don't know if that's the case for other Flywheel World Blasters. I know that the Viper doesn't really do that, but Desert Pigeons and such might, and I guess Obvious Grass Snake, the full-size version of this, and I think the King Snake, or maybe the Night Snake, which is the full-length version, or the dual-stage version. And then you, the back is held on with this pin, or this clip thing. It's also got really nice iron sights, and you can put Picatinny Rail on top if you really want. I didn't. Overall, this thing's made really smartly. I just, I enjoy all of it so much. And I know that Garcocle Nerf has a hybridized thing where it's twig snake length barrel, but grass snake length grip, so you don't have to do the stuff that I'm doing. So I guess let's give you a firing demo. We'll do the normal Call of Duty pose. And then aim down the sights, those nice precise shots. shoots pretty quick because I have honey badgers in these and red Mars wheels I think is what they're named because it's on theme with me um, and my favorite feature you can totally John Wick this thing so yeah that's the twig snake it also has snake thanas so if I had the other mag catch thing I could use snake thanas, although I right now just use the screws being a little too far out as retention. Although I also can't get printed magazines to work well enough for me, so I don't normally use this. Um, they come in five round and seven round versions, so the grass snake will hold seven rounds, the twig snake will only hold five. But yeah, overall I really like this thing. It's really nice. I think... Um, if I were to name this thing without warring with it, which is totally against the rules, but whatever, I break rules here. <laughs> um, I would, it, it really reminds me of the gun that Blind Al has in Deadpool, where it's like that really tiny thing, and then Wade's like standing over Ajax and Colossus says, ah, oh, four or five moments. So this reminds me of that. So now I need to think of four or five nerf moments that define something. So anywho, that's my twig snake, and I guess twig snakes in general. Your printing mileage may vary. Sometimes that might happen. Y'all know how y'all know how printing can be. Is that a little nice decal too? I'll have links to the files in the description because that's a nice thing to do. And thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned.